So you might remember a couple of weeks or so ago on the channel, we talked about the craziest N64 ROM hack of all time with WWF Legends 64. This game harkens back to the golden era of pro wrestling games, taking that legendary Aki engine, this engine being of course No Mercy, and just completely transforming it on its head with brand new characters, brand new moves, brand new arenas, brand new match types, running commentary throughout the game as you're playing it, and of course wrestler's theme music. Now this is a huge achievement for N64 ROM hacking and no mercy rom hacking in general and is still one of my favorite games to play as they are constantly updating this game there is a caveat about this game you can't play it on original hardware there's too many moving parts too much additional content that's been added into it that would play on original n64 hardware so what if you wanted a crazy rom hack that adds in new characters adds in new moves adds in new textures and that was playable on the original n64 hardware via an everdrive or a reproduction cart that's what we're going to talk about today with virtual pro wrestling 2 freem now i wasn't super familiar with this project over the summer they came out with an 80 percent complete version of this and i had seen it kind of floating around online but i was like eh, you know i don't i don't really understand what the big deal about this is but after playing it a ton i do understand what the big deal is and the liner notes for this game and the 80 percent released update the developer states that he's kind of upset that he can't put it on places like romhacking.net because of the fact that it's not considered a complete project yet so it's not necessarily getting the buzz that it deserves well i'm going to give it the buzz it deserves because this is awesome it plays on original n64 hardware and it's absolute wizardry so we're going to check out virtual pro wrestling 2 freem right now i have a link in the description box down below where you can go to their website and see what you need to do in order to get this uh patched because it does require a patching program or you can go on reddit and search in virtual pro wrestling 2 freem and there's a thread there that has the pre-patch from and that's what i'm using in this all right, so upon first inspection, you might be familiar with Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. In case you are not, essentially, this was kind of the Japanese version of WWF WrestleMania 2000. You could sort of tell in the different character art styles of the game, but this game was actually very different than that game that came out here stateside because it just had more to it. It had additional moves that were not in the uh, Western release of WWF WrestleMania 2000, such as like more grapple moves, um, a whole different gameplay mode in which you could play like a pancreas style like mixed martial arts shoot wrestling mode which is absolutely tons of fun and upon first inspection you're like okay you know what what's the big deal here it looks like an english translated version of wwf or of a virtual pro wrestling 2000 and when you get into the nitty gritty of this you know we're just gonna i'm just gonna show you the exhibition stuff here so everything is translated for the most part i would say about 90 to 95 percent of the stuff is translated of course you have some cool stuff we'll take a look at the create belt in just a moment but you have your classic roster of characters in this game with multiple attires and stuff like that. Some of these attires are new, but very Japanese. So if you didn't really watch, you know, a lot of Japanese wrestling, you might not know who Yuji Nagata is. But if you watched WCW, you would. So you do have, um, you know, characters that also were impactful in Japan and in the United States, such as Eddie Guerrero, as you can see here with multiple attires from different eras of his life. Chris Benoit, Dean Malenko. But here's where things start to get really cool is the new characters that they have added into this game such as someone like Sabu now you could always unlock these things and kind of make your own versions of them via the create a wrestler mode in this game as this does have a pretty in-depth create a wrestler mode but here's where things get nuts because they took textures from the, the the n64 western wrestling games and put them in here like that is stone cold's face in this game with multiple attires and multiple eras this is the rock's face this is triple h's face this is Shawn michaels face i don't know how they did this and beyond that they've actually added in new textures like look at this hulk hogan bandana that's here for hulk hogan that's not in any n64 wrestling game that came out stateside okay that is a brand new texture that is added in here oh you want hollywood hogan there you go with the different beard and stuff like that and what's awesome about this is it considers all of these wrestlers 
as created wrestlers. So if you want to tinker with something, you want to take that bandana off, you can. You want to have this cool NWO Hogan here, Randy Savage with multiple attires. Oh, and we're just scraping the iceberg here. Rude, Henning, Booker T, DDP, Goldberg, Sting with multiple eras of Sting, Ric Flair, Undertaker, multiple eras of The Undertaker as well. So just like the classic version of it. Kane, X-Pac, Regal, Perry Saturn, Raven. He, this is nuts right here. This is John Cena's face. This is not a face that just looks like John Cena. This is John Cena's actual face in this game with multiple tires. Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles with, you know, different eras of AJ Styles. Just so awesome. Like, this is so cool because it adds just another layer to this game. Multiple Scott Halls. You want Razor Ramon. You want NWO. I, I don't know how they did this. And if you understand anything about N64 ROM hacks, like, they literally rewrote the code to the game in order to make it applicable on a cartridge. Multiple versions of Scott Steiner. And then, of course, you have all these Japanese legends. Inoki. You have uh, Minoru Suzuki, who's very popular right now. You have, you know, uh, Don Fry, Dan Severn, Ken Shamrock. All these different characters. Giant Baba. Like, it's so well done. All Both of the Road Warriors. And it all works on a cartridge. And that is just amazing to me. You can make your own created wrestlers as well. But let's take a look at this create a belt thing because this is actually very, very cool. So say I wanted like the winged eagle belt. They've somehow put the textures for things. And I was looking at this at first and I was like, oh, you know, it's just stuff that kind of looks like the belt. But it's it's not because you keep scrolling down. That's an NWO belt. That's a winged eagle belt. That's the WCW Big Gold Belt. So you can make the WWF title, make it a title match, wager this title, and then do something like Hogan versus um, Tenru or something, which is actually a match that happened at Budokan Hall in Japan. Or was it the Tokyo Dome? I, I don't remember which place it was. But, you know, that's a WWF match in and of itself. And if you're not familiar with this game as far as how the gameplay is different... Like, there's just so many little nuances, especially if you watch Japanese wrestling. But it even it even transfers into the actual gameplay of the game, such as, like I said, you have additional moves. Some wrestlers even have, like, a super finisher. Terry Funk has a fireball in this game. And I love these intros because they're exactly how, like, Japanese wrestling was. Like, you kind of go into the backstage area, you see him, and then they walk out to the ring. Of course, you've got the immortal one, Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania running wild. And all of the characters that are in this game have the appropriate moves. Some of them have new moves that were hacked for this version of the game. But like Hogan, you know, since this is a Japanese game, he has stuff like the, the spinning drop toe hold. He has stuff. His finisher is the Axe Bomber. You know, the Axe Bomber is one of the strongest moves that he has in this game. And it's just so much fun to be experiencing this. And it works on a freaking cartridge like I can't wrap my head around that because it's just so awesome and the AI is so much more refined in this game like you literally have these epic back and forth matches within this game that you get them in no mercy and you know revenge don't get me wrong but it's definitely more so geared to like a Japanese style where like sometimes you'll hit someone with like a, a, a super German suplex and then they pop right up and then larry at you like it, it's so well done it's so much fun. You want taunts? Don't worry. Taunts are in here too. Like, this is just absolutely top notch. And the fact that it runs on actual hardware just makes it that much better, in my opinion. Because, you know, there's there's no sort of limit to this as far as what you play it on. You want to play it on an EverDrive? Play it on an EverDrive. You want to play it, you know, make your own repro because the seller of the of the creator of this game, I should say, is definitely very against like repros being sold for this game. There are some on like AliExpress or something. So, you know, I'm going to respect his wishes and not do that because this is just amazing work. I also want to show you guys the MMA side of the game too because that's something I feel like a lot of people probably are not familiar with. Oh, we didn't do the belt thing, but like you come out with the belt and stuff like that. You you do have a winner. It keeps records of it. Of course, there's all these different game modes that are in this game. But I want to show you guys the, the MMA stuff because I have so much fun doing 
the MMA stuff in this game, and it's only in this game. Like, you remember how Goldberg had, like, that cool combo meter in uh, WCW NWO Revenge? It's like that, but it's a whole game mode. So let's go with, uh, let's go with Old Minoru. We'll go up against Bass Rotten. Rotten. I say Rotten. Uh, and then you could change the rules to a mixed martial arts style. So I like to do like a round system in the game so that there's multiple rounds. Uh, free, suplexes are free in this. You can have a gong save on or off, meaning that, you know, the gong will save you at the end of a round. You have different rounds. You have a point system. How many points for being down? Uh, what does a rope break take? So if you need a rope break or something like that, stuff you don't see in your American games here. And of course you could take any wrestler and put them in one of these settings. And I, I just think that that's so cool. And like this gameplay mode is just so much fun to play. This could have been its own individual game. I'm going to go ahead and say it just because of like the, the takedown system. Like it's, it's literally completely different than anything else in these, you know, Western games. Like, look at that. That's a takedown. And now I'm going to try to make them tap out. You obviously have to wear them down a bit until you get to this point. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've been busted open. I've been busted open. But you know what? I love the taste of my own blood. It just makes me stronger. I can't express to you how much I've been enjoying this game and how much I'm going to. Like, that was a sick reversal. And just the amount of work that went into this, the amount of love and care that went into this. Like, even if this is the 80% version and he doesn't get around to finishing it, I don't care, dude. Like, this to me is is perfect. There's little things that happen here and there. Some of the text isn't uh, translated uh, in, like, little certain areas. It's, it's not really that big of a deal. Just a few minor nitpicks in the patch notes that the creator himself puts out. But this game is freaking awesome. And the fact that it works on original hardware, has all of these new characters, all of these new moves, all of these new textures, this game deserves all the praise that it gets. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description box down below to their official website where you can get the patches and stuff that you need in order to patch the ROM. If you're unfamiliar with stuff like that, like I said, there is a thread on Reddit that does have the pre-patched ROM that someone was kind enough to you put out there but play this game even if you've played other you know rom hacks of the classic n64 wrestling games this one is just it's almost in a league of its own just because of the fact that it works on original hardware and it somehow has real faces in it that that shouldn't be here and new textures that shouldn't be here let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit that bell notification as well. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.